In this video, we're gonna go through a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to get your real estate license in the state of New Jersey. Plus, we're gonna give you a couple important tips to help you pick the perfect first brokerage to increase your chances of success. And at the end of the video, we're gonna cover all the costs associated with getting your license so you know exactly how much to budget. Let's dive right into the video. My name is Chris with the Empire Real Estate YouTube channel. On this channel, we talk about real estate, personal finance, and entrepreneurship. Before we get started, I want to offer you our free how to get started and start your real estate career guide. Everything in this video plus more is inside that guide. So to get your copy, click the link down below and download it today. By the way, before we get started, if you enjoyed the video and you get value out of it, smash the like button because it does help the channel and we definitely appreciate it. The very first step to getting your license in New Jersey is meeting some of the basic requirements. So you're required to be 18 years old or older and you have to have a high school diploma or a GED. Once you have that in place, it's time to start with step number one. Step number one is getting your pre-licensed education in place and completing it. In New Jersey, you're required to complete 75 hours of state approved pre-licensed education classes. And yes, I know 75 hours is a lot of time to sit in a classroom, especially if you have a busy nine to five job or you just have a busy schedule in general. So because of this, we highly suggest you check out Clearbury Real Estate School. They offer the classes online, they're state approved, and the students really love the classes. So if you wanna check them out, there's some different sales and discounts in the description below. There's an affiliate link down there that you can click and learn a little bit more about it. Once you complete your 75 hours of state approved pre-licensed education classes, well, it's time to schedule your exam. But put the brakes on for a second because before you schedule this exam, I would take some time to study because this exam has a high failure rate. And I wanna give you a couple basic tips that I would use to pass my exam if I was doing this all over again. The very first thing is to time block at least an hour every single day for a week or two to study. This can be time you look through textbooks, this can be time that you study online. You know, you can use this time to just learn the material a lot more and retain as much as possible because this is not an open book exam and the more you can retain, the better you're gonna do on the test and the higher chance you're gonna have of passing. The second thing I would do is I would find a real estate study buddy. So if you could find someone that's gonna take this with you, then this can be a really good opportunity to get somebody to hold you accountable and you can get things like flashcards, quiz each other, and make things a lot more interactive and fun. And let's be honest, if it's more fun, you're gonna spend more time doing it. The third thing I would look into is prep agent. I actually use prep agent to pass my exam. And if textbooks are too boring and you can't find a good real estate study buddy that wants to do this with you, then prep agent might be the ideal solution. So they offer a tool, it's like a test-like simulation. It will actually quiz you. And it's very similar to what the actual exam is like. So you can go in there, take quizzes, get the answers wrong. It will tell you why you're answering them wrong. And when you're answering things right, it will confirm that and start building your confidence. So if you wanna check out Prep Agent, there's an affiliate link down in the description for that as well. And I highly recommend it. And it definitely gave me the confidence I needed to pass my exam. Once you've taken the time to study, it's time to schedule your exam. The exams are held with PSI testing centers and you're gonna have to give them some notice to get on their calendar and I would give them at least 24 hours notice. So you can go on their website or you can give them a call to book this, but they're gonna want at least 24 hours notice in advance. And you know that way you can find a time that works for you and for the testing center. Before you go to the testing center, you're gonna to wanna to bring two things on test day. The first thing is a basic non-scientific calculator for the math portion of the exam. And you want to bring two forms of identification to get into the testing center on test day. Once inside, you're going to realize that the questions are multiple choice. So don't rush through the exam. The majority of people that rush through this exam end up failing the exam. So make sure you read the questions multiple times before you submit the answer, because in all reality, the majority of the people that take this exam finish it early, even if they spend the time to read the questions a couple times before they submit their answer. So avoid rushing through it. You have plenty of time. And even if you submit your answers after you read them a couple times, you're probably still going to finish early. Once you complete your exam, you're going to know if you passed or failed as soon as you walk out. They're gonna go over your scores with you. And if you failed, it's not the end of the world. Just study more and retake the test. The only downside is you're gonna to have to repay the exam testing fee, 
But a lot of agents that are great agents throughout the entire country failed the test the first time. So don't take this as a indication that you're going to be a bad real estate agent or you're going to fail at this career. Just realize that you have to study a little bit more and you can come back and retake it. It's not the end of the world. If you did pass the exam, it's time to celebrate a little bit. This is a big milestone. You're you know, well into your journey of becoming a real estate agent, and this is one of the hardest parts of the entire process. So pat yourself on the back and celebrate a little bit. The next step is completing your fingerprinting and background check. So in New Jersey, in order to get a real estate license, you're gonna have to take a background check and they want to see that you have nothing on your record that would prevent you from getting a real estate license. So any felonies, anything like that might be a problem. And if you have this on your record, I would check with the state and the real estate commission ahead of time before putting in all this work, but you're going to have to get a background check and fingerprinting done. Next, it's time to find your sponsoring broker. So in New Jersey, with a real estate license, you're required to work under a sponsoring broker and finding a sponsoring broker isn't that challenging. The majority of brokers will take you on as a new agent. They're most likely going to be paying you 100% commission. So the risk is pretty low. That's the good news. The bad news is that this industry has over a 87% failure rate and picking their wrong brokerage can increase the odds of you actually failing. So I want to offer you a couple tips and a couple questions to ask as you're going through the interview process and talking to brokerages to find one that's the perfect fit. So the first question I would ask is, do you offer a mentor? Do you have a mentor in place that's going to be able to help me for the first three to five deals? Now, I say the first three to five deals because these are the deals that are going to be the most stressful, the most challenging, and you're just not going to know what to do. So having someone that you can call, pick up the phone, have a conversation with that has experience will be a total game changer. I know when I first started having someone there to help me along when I was going through a challenging situation during the deal made all the difference. You know, just talking to somebody saying, hey, look, this isn't a big deal, do X, Y, Z, and you'll resolve the problem can make a huge difference when you're trying to get your career off the ground because, you know, it can be very stressful and you're dealing with all kinds of situations. So having a mentor in your corner that you can call that has that real world experience that's been doing this for a while can be a total game changer and I highly recommend it. Number two is finding a training program that goes along with that mentor. So most brokerage is gonna say they have training, but you wanna ask if they have a step-by-step -step process or step-by-step -step trainings or modules that will take you from day one all the way to building a successful business and a successful real estate career. Because the biggest challenge with new agents and the biggest challenge I hear from new agents is once they get licensed, they walk into their brokerage and they just don't know what to do. They don't know how to get business. They don't know what they should be doing, what they shouldn't be doing. So having a step-by-step -step training or a step-by-step -step system that you can follow that will guide you down that road and take you down that journey can be a total game changer. Now, don't confuse this with a mentor because having a mentor is there for the problems and, and times you need to talk, but that mentor can't be there 24 seven because they're probably still selling real estate. This training module can be video modules or it can be weekly classes at the brokerage. You know, you wanna look for a system to peer with that mentor that's gonna you know, take you from the start to launching your career and taking you towards success. The third question to ask is how are you gonna generate business? So this is one of the most challenging parts of this entire industry. As I mentioned before, it's 100% commission in most cases and generating business is the name of the game. So finding a brokerage that's gonna teach you to generate the business you want, the way you want to generate it is the question you wanna ask because some brokerages will tell you they're going to teach you how to contact your friends and family. This is called SOI marketing, and there's nothing wrong with SOI marketing. It works. I know people that have built six-figure businesses doing SOI marketing alone. However, if you don't have a big network and you want to do it a different way, you might want to find a brokerage that provides leads or does marketing for you or teaches you how to run marketing or teaches you how to prospect for for sellers and buyers that you don't already know. So having this conversation up front is something that you definitely want to do because you want to align yourself with a broker and a brokerage that's going to help you build your business the way you want to build your business. By the way, we are looking for new agent partners in New Jersey. So if you're interested in partnering with me over at Team Power Unit, definitely click the link for the Zoom call below. I'll hop on a Zoom with you and see if it's a good fit. And if not, you can ask me some questions and maybe I can help you out and point you in the right direction. 
The next step is submitting your license application. So you're going to want to take everything you've done so far, your completed pre-licensed education classes, your past real estate exam score, and your past background check, and you're going to submit that in with your real estate license application. Once that goes in, you're going to wait to hear back. Once it comes back and you get the green light, then you're officially a licensed real estate agent. You just got to take your license, go hang it with the sponsoring broker you chose, and it's time to start building your real estate business and get your career off the ground. Definitely an exciting time. But before we go, I do want to jump into the cost so you know exactly how, to, how much to budget to get this started. So the very first cost that I would budget for is your pre-licensed education classes. This is the 75 hours of state approved classes and I would budget between 350 and 600 for this. Next we have your exam fee. I would budget about $55 to get this done. And then you have the license application fee, which is about an additional $160. The next fee to account for is the background check fee, which is about $68. Next, I would budget about two to $500 to get started with your first brokerage and get e and insurance. So as you can see, all in all, getting licensed isn't that expensive. The hardest part is completing the pre-licensed education and passing the exam. So if you're motivated to get your license this year, I wanna hear from you, drop that in the comment section below. And if you have questions, drop that in the comment section below as well. I'll do my best to get back to you. If you like this kind of content for real estate entrepreneurs that are trying to build a real estate empire, smash the like button and subscribe. We come out with content on a weekly basis. Thanks so much for tuning in and you have a great day.